Good morning. How are you today? Good. Nice to see a few smiling faces. Well, my story today is a mission story, but it happened a long time ago. You know, these stories can even happen now. So the story I have to say is about a missionary to the island of Sumatra. And this missionary was the first European missionary to go to the headhunters. Do you know about headhunters? No. They were people that if they didn't like you, they would kill you and eat you. That's what they called headhunters. And you see, 20 years before, there were two missionaries from America that tried to go tell them about Jesus, and the headhunters got them. Now, 20 years later, our story is about Mr. Von Assault from the Netherlands. And this area was controlled pretty much by the Dutch people in those days. So he wanted to go tell these people, the Batak people of Sumatra, about Jesus and how Jesus loves them. So when Mr. Von Assault went there, these people did not like him at all. They gave him a very hard time. And he didn't even know their language. He couldn't even understand some of the sounds that they made. And he tried to build a small house in their village or close by, but they made sure that they did not want him there. Their language was pretty much, the writing was in pictures. So he got some of the pictures of what they drew. They drew a house burning. They drew a person dead. They drew a place where all their gardens were all destroyed. So he knew that they really didn't want him there. Anyway, he asked his wife if she wouldn't join him, and she did. You know, they worked for the Batak people for two years, but during those two years, they felt that there was a lot of evil around, and they felt very unsafe. There were times at night that they would wake up shaking in fear. They were so afraid that they went to their Bibles and opened their Bibles, read and prayed about how God was going to watch over them and take care of them. And that was the only thing that would bring him peace. Do you know the two years were so hard, they decided that they were going to move to another village that seemed to be a little kinder and nicer people and people a little bit more receptive of having them around and trying to teach them that God loves them so much. About three months after they had moved to the new village, Mr. Von Ossalt was sitting on the bench in front of his house when one of the villagers from the Batak village that they were at first came and greeted him. He recognized it, the man from the other village, and he said, why don't you come sit down with me? He talked about everything going on in his village. By then, they could communicate. He said, you know, Tuan, I have just one question. I can't figure out. You see, I would like to find the watchman that you have around your house. And may I go into your house and search your house to see if I can find the watchman you have guarding your house? Mr. Van also laughed and he said, I have no watchman. Do you know I have a little goat herder boy help me in the garden and around the house, and I have a young boy help me in the kitchen, but I have no guards. I have no money to pay for guards. Oh, Tuan, but you don't understand. Do you see? You have guards around your house because we saw them. Sure, you can go ahead and search. They, so this gentleman went through the house, looking in every closet under the bed. He even pulled the bed covers, trying to find the guards that Mr. Van Alsalt had. And he came out, and Mr. Van Alsalt said, did you find them? Well, no, Tuan. 
that's the reason why I have come. You see, none of us can find him, but we saw them. Mr. Van Alsalt said, can you tell me a little bit about the story of where you saw and how it came about? Oh, Tuan, we all know you have guards. You see, when you first came to our village, we did not want you. We wanted you gone, and we wanted to kill you. But you see, every night we got together as a band, the strongest warriors from our village, and they were known as very savage warriors. We would come to your house, and there would be two rows of guards, and they had swords, just bright, shining fire swords, and we could never get into your house. We came night after night, and then we decided to discuss with the chief as to how we were going to kill you. And so there's this tribe of men who were known that they were for hire to kill people. If we didn't want somebody around, we would just pay them. And we went to them, and the, they just laughed at us and said, you cowards, you can't even kill a missionary white man. I will do it for you. So we all got together, and we came as a group, and he went ahead of us, wheeling his bolo. But pretty soon he came running back, as white as white can be. Well, what happened? No, I am sorry. I cannot fight two rows of shining soldiers that are standing shoulder to shoulder with fire uh, swords. He said, no, I am sorry. This one I cannot do. They're all around the house, and I cannot. So from that day on, we said, somehow you must have power we do not have. Tuan, do you mean you have never seen these guards? No, I have not seen these guards. Tuan, your wife, she has not seen these guards? No, we have not seen these guards. But why, Tuan? Then he knew. He went into the house, and he brought out his Bible, and he said, you see, it is because we believe the word that is spoken in this black book called the Bible. And we believe in the God of the words of this Bible, that he will take care of us. He has given the word that he will watch over us and take care of us. But you see, God wants to show you because you do not understand and do, do not believe in this word that God is very powerful and he watches over us and take care of us. And to you children, don't ever forget that when you need help, all you need to do is go to the Bible and read God's word, and you can believe in God's word, that he will take care of you, and that we all have angels to watch over us and take care of us. Thank you so much. Let's ask Jesus to bless the offering as we collect it for our school. Father in heaven, we want to thank you so much for your watch care over us. Now bless the offering that we collect each week for our educational school and so that these children can learn that you love them and you care for them. Thank you so much. Amen.